This is Paranormal Geek Official. Where the truth can be stranger. Careful with this stuff. Here. It's chilly in here. I don't like basements. Huh? <laughs> you don't like basements? Nah. Why? Are you down there? Yes. Why? Growing up, I grew up in a haunted place, so the basement was always like a weird. Uh, oh, it was off. It was creepy. Oh. Uh, it's... This is not. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. No. Oh my god, it's cold. Is there more coming down? Yeah, so yeah, I think they're dropping some of their stuff and they're in the area a little. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Put cards in there. Please, it's not here. Mm. Sorry. The basement's always a little bit chillier. True. Yep. We're sitting at a balmy 64. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by are drawn to the room in the back for no reason and I could clarify with her because I got um, curious and she's and I asked her are you you're drawn to the room too huh and she sh nods her head and says yes and watch what we do and what they say after without without us knowing much about the place the uh, laser grid died battery died out yeah. Yeah, it's a rechargeable battery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense down here. That's, that, yeah, I got a, I got a different word down here too. So. So you see me around. <laughs> Maybe it's just the bathroom. Is somebody using the bathroom? What? Maybe I have somebody using the bathroom. Is the bathroom open? Okay. What's that say? Corn. Canary. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, is this it then? I think we have two more that are meters. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. That's all. <clears throat> so, what we do know about the basement is at one point during Prohibition, there was a speakeasy down here. It was called the coal mine. Or a mine, depending on who you ask. Ask. Uh, the entrance, you came in through the storm doors in the back, came down. We suspect that this door was not here, but if you were looking here, we actually believe, or at least I do, that the door, the seat door to get in was actually here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Kind of uh, we also do know that this red area here is where the actual bar was. So the bartender would have been somewhere in this area. Oh, that's just okay. Like, I don't have any the alarm the off? Right that's there. what I was thinking. Okay. Um, no? Is it normal? Trying to calibrate or something? Calibrate already. The most prevalent spirits that we have down here, we have Silas, who was a pretty much nightly customer at the speakeasy. Um, sometimes he says some really odd things on spirit boxes because he's usually bombed. <laughs> yes, he was a drunk, unfortunately. Nice guy, but he was a drunk. Um, <clears throat> we have someone that we call the hooch runner because he was exactly that, a hooch runner. And through spirit box communication, he has, ref he has told us, I refuse to give my name because the law may be looking for him. So we just call him the hooch runner. Uh, we have a woman whose name I do not have. Um, our friend Michael Lachiana has it, but I don't remember it. Not really. Not the way, um, not, not the, way the was the going. It's not. I don't want to say she was a, a worker at the bar, but she wasn't employed by the bar, but she was always at the bar working the men. And there's a reason behind that. Where the Waynesburger is now, uh, her boyfriend lived there, and she lived with him and her daughter, whose name was Astrid. Um, he was not a nice guy, and he put her and her daughter out on the street. So she was doing what she did here to make money for her and her daughter. He found out and strangled her to death in the alley. So we frequently get her, him, and we get Astrid in here looking for Molly. So we've had a lot of activity out here tonight. Some in places that we normally don't get. Yeah, tonight is very unusual with the stuff that we're getting, and... We're not, we're, it's just like, we're mystified. Yes. Um, before you leave tonight, if you see Dale, look at the video he got. I'm yeah. not going to tell you where, because I don't want influence, but he got a really unbelievable video in a place down here that we normally don't get activity, and it was... We kicked the bucket. Right. There's no light source that would have caused what we saw in this video. No light source, especially considering his camera was aimed towards the floor. So, um, hot spots are this area, the women's bathroom back in that corner, especially. Um, yeah, well, yeah, again, I don't want to give too many details because I want you to have your own experiences, but this whole back area, um, the bar area to a lesser extent, and surprisingly enough tonight, the pool, pool room, which tonight, at least for me, is the first time we've actually done any active. Uh, and me and Jim had some, me and Jim were in there, we got EVPs and we heard music playing in there, like a piano playing, before. Okay. So, um, we've got some, we've got some tools, I've got an EM Vortex pump one, which is filling the room with some EMF to give the spirit's energy, hopefully to manifest, um, but at least, um, trying to communicate it with us. We got cat, cat balls in various areas, um, and the thing about the cat balls is, like, for example, that device over there, if energy an energy storage passes by, it can set it off. Cat balls, you have to physically manipulate them Talk to, to get them, them right to get them to light up. Which the first time we used them here was up in the Holter Street, right. and they were going crazy. Um, I have one K2 if anybody wants to use it. Actually, um, and turn it on. You got your baseline green. You put it near an electrical source, it's going to light up. So make sure your phones are on uh, airplane mode. Airplane mode. But down here, 
where it's baseline green, I know that there's no interference from anything down here because it's not going anywhere. So if I'm just sitting here like this, and I'm going to use my phone right now just as an example, but if you have it here, something comes over and sets it off. Actually, I'm not. I should be setting it off. You hang up in town, no? I bet you Yep, see? Yeah. If you get something like that, when you're over here where there's, you can have a baseline that's telling you there's no interference, you've just got to eat a uh, case of it. And then that's when you want to start maybe snap pictures or, uh, I actually, recent, tonight actually, just downloaded a spirit box app. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Because, I'm going to do that one yet. Too. Yeah. Um, my partner Jim usually has his computer, his laptop, which has our uh, password box on it. But he has gone home. He doesn't have it. So I downloaded this. It's called Necropod, yeah. and I can run this tonight. Yeah. So and then I also have. Oh, I just lost my balance. What's in there? Um, I have a Kate. Um, oh, I'm sorry, a millimeter here. This is a, this is a millimeter. Yeah, and this is giving us a baseline temperature right now. We're at about 62. Um, this will also have uh, milligauss levels on here for EMF spikes, but so far tonight we've basically just been using it to see if there's any um, variance in temperature. And then we have, thanks to Jim who brought his because I didn't have my DS2, we have a laser grid. We set this up and you're not looking for something to, like, you're, like my hand for example, you're not watching for my hand, you're watching the dots to see if something breaks them. So if you're in a room where this is set up and you see some dots mis disappear, that means something's just passed in between whatever those dots are on, like the wall and the, the pen itself. So, All right, so where do you want to set this up? We've had it in there. We've had it out here. Let's try it in there. All right. In the bathroom so, or you just went in the hallway? Hallway. Okay. So now, just so you know, those mirrors, this is going to cause some refraction from those mirrors, but... Go back here then. Okay. So um, we're going to do an experiment. It's going to involve two females at first, and then male and female. Just don't let you know. So. Okay. Um, but usually, with me and my group, we before we start, I when we come to a place, it's always the same thing. Um, we come here in honor and respect. We're not here to hurt anybody. We're not here to take you out of this place. We're here to, we're here to hear your story. Tell us, you know, what's, what you talk to us. Okay, my name is Jim. Lauren. Dave. Angela. Janice. Maria. Bill. Tara. Isabella. Megan. So, um, <clears throat> and you know, it's just so they know we're right. just here to gather information. There's no whatever your story is. There's no judgment, nothing like that. Yes. It's none of the equipment we use will hurt you. It's just a way for people like me who can't pick up on any kind of energy signatures. Um, I'm just dense when it comes to that. I, uh, so I know where you're at. I'm a little, di I'm a little different. Than and I can. You. It's a way that you can communicate with us. So I need, I need two female, two, two female mm -hmm. volunteers. And I'm going to go ahead and go lights out. I'm volunteer. We got one. Jim? Huh? You got one over there? Take her. Go ahead, Maria. Take her. Take her. Go. No, I need two. Come on. Have fun. Oh, that's yours. Come on. It's okay if I take my camera, right? Yeah. This is the woman's bathroom. This is it's active. Come on in. So talk like you're having talk like you're having a conversation. Okay. Remember, this is a bar. Mm -hmm. So if you want to ask questions or whatever, think think of the bar and speakeasy, and they didn't treat women very nicely. They were, they were sex objects. Okay. So <laughs> now I'm, 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 this way here, this is the baseline. So here, leave this here. This is the capital. Um, so um, the doors will be closed, but. But just, yeah, all, all the way. Okay. So, but just, just like I said, just to see what we're we're doing an experiment. So far, we're two for two in here. Okay. So. <laughs> all right.
I'm gonna turn my recorder on too. I'm just gonna leave it play. I mean, record. Recording, I set it down. I'm just gonna let it play. And my battery's already dying. <laughs> this is the only light source. Is there anyone here that wants to talk to us? Hello? 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 How do you feel? <laughs> that's, that's the water. Um, somebody's flushing. That's them outside. That was me whispering. We heard a knock. Someone knock. That's not there. The sound's coming from the door. Is there anything you want to say to us? How do you feel having two women in the bathroom? Do you want to get you anything? You give us a sign that you're here. We're not here to hurt you. We want to communicate peacefully. Were you ever hurt in this bathroom? I hurt in this bar. Let's see, I have paper in my hand. Did you used to use this bathroom a lot? We have a ball on the table here. If you touch it, it lights up. Can you touch it for us? Can you light the ball up so we can see that you're here? You like having all these people here visiting you? That's the water. <laughs> that gets me every time. I know. <laughs> it's really quiet in here. If someone is in here, I'll be good. No. All the really quiet in here. Can you tell us your name? Should we play back and see if we got something in the fire? Yeah. Let me see. I'm not used to using this stuff. <laughs> Can you stop?
Join us next week for an all-new episode of the Paranormal Geek Official.